Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 27th, 2023. Well, we continue to run this record-breaking stretch here in the Diamonds now, 12 consecutive days up after uh, the Fed raises interest rates. Um, interesting. And we continue on this very strong rise. And if we can do another one, um, this is the longest streak since 1987. Longest streak since 1987. As a matter of fact, there has only been four of this type in history of the market. If we can do 13 days to the upside, it will, I think it goes all the way back into the 1800s when we had a 13 day rally, something like that in, in, the, um, in the Dow. So pretty remarkable run here to the upside. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Hey, I want to say thank you so much to everyone, all the well wishes and things about my mother-in-law, um, her condition. Um, she continues to be in the ICU. Um, to my knowledge, at least today uh, should be a normal day, but um, you never know when um, I may have to uh, take off and um, get to the hospital. So... Um, with that, I just want to say thank you. you. You guys are truly awesome. I apologize I haven't been able to answer comments um, on YouTube. I have been reading them, but you guys, uh, thank you so much. You humble me every day, and I do truly, truly appreciate your kindness. Let's take a look at some of these um, um, indexes and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, our diamonds, as I just mentioned, very extended. Um, we haven't seen a run like this since 1987, and uh, we're all hyped up on earnings, and I mean hyped up on earnings. Um, one of the things you do want to pay attention to is even though we're beating earnings, a lot of these companies are not making more money than they were a year ago, and yet we're pricing them at perfection. So kind of an interesting circumstance here in the market. Now, if we take a look right in here, I talked yesterday about if we could keep pushing, we might push up and test this resistance level in the chart. That's what we got done yesterday after the rate increase. No worries or concern here for the market. And as a matter of fact, the Fed went on to say that there could be another one next um, uh, in September. So um, nobody seems to care. Um, if we um, take a look at this chart and look higher, well, this, uh, the next resistance level might be right up in here around uh, that 358 area of the market if the bulls can continue to move to that upside and continue to set records on this run to the upside. If the bears were to find inspiration, I'm going to suggest a pullback maybe to test yesterday's low. We gapped down yesterday and then just immediately saw buyers come in, pushing it right back up. So we'll watch that area right in there. If they can, um, if the bears were to engage and push down, I'm going to look for that level light right there initially for um, a little bit of support. One thing I will tell you is if we do start to sell off, just remember there really is no major price support in this entire run, which exposes us to that possibility of a steep sell-off if the sellers start to come in and if profit taking begins to occur in the market. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, we are still very, very extended away from our 50-day moving average, and we are still in a very overbought situation here in the market for the short term. If we take a look at our SPY, very similar circumstance here in the, in the SPY, but we did do a little bit better job of resting in here for a few days. So we have more of a support level in the chart, more of a consolidation to work from. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, if the bulls can continue to push, well, I put that red line up here, that would be a target up there for the SPY to see 
if um, we can test that up there and if the bears were to find inspiration today well i'm going to suggest they come right back and maybe test some of the support here in the chart on the spy and once again we are still very very extended away from our 50-day moving average and still in a considerable overbought condition but there is nothing about this chart that's bearish if we take a look at our QQQ, same thing is true here. We did a pretty good job of resting and then uh, Meta's earnings yesterday pushing us to the upside. So we're getting a nice little pop here in the QQQ. My suggestion is we would look right in here for the resistance um, in the chart to see whether or not we can push through that big black candle. If we can, we'll be back up here, maybe trying to fill that gap and then maybe even testing the highs here in the QQQ. Let's keep in mind if the bears were to find some reason to uh, be inspired, maybe a push back down to test this little support area in the chart. And if that were to break, I think we have that chance that we could come right back down into this area here testing this uh, bigger area of price support in the chart. So keep an eye on that. Again, very, very bullish chart, very extended away from our 50-day moving average and in an overbought condition. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM continued to stretch to the upside yesterday and continued to stay strong, showing lots of upside. And this is uh, a nice little hold of that downtrend break as we continue to reach for that upside and very stretched out here on our IWM. If we take a look, there's we do have that little bit of resistance right in there, but if the bulls keep pushing, I'm gonna look for a test up in here for these last highs. See if we can stretch up into there. And if we can break that, maybe we're up into here. So watch that closely. Um, if the bears find inspiration, I would look for a retest of that trend line break to see whether or not we can hold this little support area in the chart. Once again, extremely extended away from our 50-day moving average and very overbought in the short term. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX started up a little bit yesterday um, with that gap down and then um, on on the <laughs> the raising of interest rates we rallied right back up really hard and um, dropped that fear down here in the market so there's no fear um, whatsoever here in the market and as you can see we're continuing to move in this downtrend so if we can continue that pattern this morning i would suggest that we drop in uh, below um, that support level and keeping in mind if we do that we are in very complacent positions here in the market um, kind of a uh, uh, almost like a, a, a dot-com bubble um, euphoria going on here in in the market as we um, just race in and chase stocks that many of them are so very very parabolic in the rally to the upside uh, it just seems incredibly dangerous to me to be chasing those but it doesn't seem to be bothering anyone else so um, make sure you're planning your trades carefully keep your stop losses moving up because if this does shift I would expect it would shift hard and we could move down sharply so be kind of careful if we take a look at our um, T2122, our T2122 continues to be very elevated here. We did drop a little bit, relieve some of that pressure yesterday, but by the end of the day, we're pushing right back up here into the overbought um, ranges of the market. If the futures have anything to say about that this morning, we're gonna be right back up in here in this overbought condition of T2122 and just continuing to linger. The longer we linger when this does break, it will break pretty hard, I think. And we've seen that many times in the past where we um, linger up here and then when it comes down, it comes down hard. So be prepared for that. Make sure you have a plan to protect your capital and your profits and make sure your stop losses are in place. And once again, I'm gonna um, echo this, um, repeating, re repeating, repeating, but uh, be careful not to over trade this market because you don't wanna be the last one in the door when um, things start to turn. If we take a look at our T2108, 
T2108 was pretty flat yesterday. Um, couldn't really rally all that much. And that's one of the things we might be seeing as we stretch. We may, even if we get really good data, it may be difficult for us to continue to stretch to the upside. So watch that closely now, keeping in mind we're up here in a very rarefied air situation and it's it it doesn't happen often that we can be up here and that we can hold it and you can see uh, the times that we've done this lately when we stretch out and get really um, elevated here then the sell-off comes and it usually comes off pretty hard pretty dramatic there's nothing in this chart right now that says that that's going to occur but history tells us the likelihood is getting closer and closer and closer to a pullback. It does not have to match this as a major pullback. Maybe we just rest and go sideways for a long period of time to relieve some of that pressure, but that possibility does exist, so make sure you're preparing for that. And our uh, T2107 percentage of stocks above the 200 day continues to rally, continuing to stretch up in here into some very rarefied air on T2107. So we'll want to be watching that closely as we push and push and push. Remember, there's only so many, uh, so much money to go into the market. And once it's all in, then everything kind of comes to an end and stops. And right now we've just had this major chase going on um, in the market. If we take a look at our T2101, T2101 um, um, showed us as we continue to stretch to the upside, our momentum, our breadth continued to decline. So that's another clue that we may be reaching a point where everyone is in as that breadth declines. Um, just be very, very careful that that shift could occur at any time. If we take a look at our um, economic calendar today, now our economic calendar is a busy one, and we have a lot to potentially, uh, whoops, where is my economic calendar? What did I do with it? Um, here we go. That moved over here. Our economic calendar day is a very busy one, and you can see we've got uh, durable goods orders coming in here this morning. They're expecting that to show a little bit of decline. Uh, GDP numbers, they're expecting that to decline at 8.30. We've got international trade in goods expecting the uh, trade deficit to uh, widen again and um, jobless claims are expected to come in just a little tiny bit higher than they did last time. Remember, this has been very problematic and something that the Fed is watching pretty closely. Um, it has been very strong and um, doesn't seem to want to back off here at all, so watch that closely. Now, other than that, we've got some retail inventories, wholesale inventories that they're expecting to tick a little bit higher. And we've got pending home sales, natural gas report, some bond auctions here, and the Fed balance sheet. And we're not out of the woods yet. We're going to end up with a um, the PCE, core PCE numbers here on Friday, which is the Fed's favorite metric for measuring inflation so we'll want to be watching that closely with housing prices with energy prices going back up we may uh, be watching a, a situation here where the possibility does exist that our inflation has increased um, over the last month so watch that carefully and then we will have employment um, uh, costs and consumer sentiment on Friday to follow up. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now there's a little bit of a discrepancy in our earnings calendar today. Um, some sites have us um, suggesting that we're going to see an Amazon report today. But I think what happened here is there's confusion because Amazon switched its date of reporting. Um, I believe it is going to be 8-3, but there are still places suggesting it will be today after the bell. So there's a lot of confusion out there about that, but I believe it's going to be on um, uh, 8-3. So kind of keep that in mind. Other than that, um, since I can't do the blog today, we have a little bit of a website problem going on. Can't seem to publish things to the website right now. But 
Um, here's a list of the notables. You guys can take a screenshot of this. Um, we've got a very, very busy day going on here. Um, we've already had um, an airline report and uh, miss on revenues. We've got McDonald's coming in today. We've got Ford coming in today. We've got some um, con uh, defensive sector stocks like Hershey reporting today and Mondelez reporting today. We're going to have MasterCard, McDonald's, um, just a really busy day on that economic er, earnings calendar today. So look for some volatility, look for some whipsaws. Um, and the stocks that happen to disappoint get punished pretty hard here recently. So um, I would be watching for that as well. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and that would be also click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone everyone who does take the time to do that and again I apologize I haven't been able to answer those comments I as long as nothing changes with the, with the health of my mother-in-law um, I should be able to do that today so um, um, thank you so much to everyone who does take the time I do truly appreciate it let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to do your own due diligence be very very careful here in the market because again we are overextended and there's just so many stocks stretching to the upside it looks like everything is a buy um, when you look at charts out there so let's talk about a few things in here first let's take a look at our CCJ um, or excuse me I wanted to do UUP first um, we've got our US dollar pulling back here this morning so that's a good sign if, if the dollar pulls back that's gonna help uh, potentially the market move higher it's also going to help some commodity uh, prices move um, to the upside so let's keep a close eye on that and um, having said that let's take a look at like US Steel US Steel continuing to look very very good here you can see where I've had price alerts on that chart moving to the upside and it is reporting today so keep a, uh, an eye on that US Steel um, looking very bullish you might also want to be looking at like Cleveland Cliffs Cleveland looking really really good here I've placed a price alert let that rest here the US Steel report could have a positive or negative impact on this chart today and of course if the dollar weakens that will help some of these commodity prices now um, talking about that let's take a look at some of um, some precious metals precious metals we've got a nice little pattern going on here in uh, GLD for gold uh, moving to the upside possibly breaking through some resistance here in the chart looking pretty darn good um, and this is a, a, a paper gold but if you wanted like a physical gold where you actually own gold take a look at PHY PHYS, PHYS also in that same kind of pattern. Um, silver doing the same thing, holding in here on a nice bullish pattern, higher low following a trend, looking pretty good to the upside. And again, if you wanted silver, um, I think it's PSLV can get you physical silver rather than just the paper silver that you'd be in SLV. Um, taking a look at other things um, in that area boy when it comes to energy um, energy continues to hold up really strong our numbers yesterday sh um, showed that um, supplies continue to um, uh, decline um, here in the United States and so we're seeing some pretty good strength here in um, oil and gas stocks so watch that carefully pushing up here strongly here in OXY I think we need a little rest or pullback but I think there may be some opportunities still coming in here um, Schlumberger has just been a, a massive upside run but notice that we've been resting against this um, resistance level in the chart I look for that next opportunity in here that that might pop on through to the upside 
a Valero, um, one of our refiners out there stretching hard, pushing into some resistance. I think it needs a little bit of rest, but I'd keep a close eye on that. Maybe trying to push on higher. Um, APA, just pretty much anywhere you go in that, um, in that oil sector right now, we're seeing lots and lots of bullishness. Um, to the upside in these energy stocks. Um, and remember, when oil goes up, gas goes up. When gas goes up, inflation goes up. So this could be kind of that double-edged sword here the, for the market that we'll want to be paying pretty close attention to. Um, as you guys know, I, I kind of mentioned DKNG yesterday in the morning prep. That's looking good, trying to pop through and move to the upside. I keep a close eye on that. Um, I mentioned Starbucks. Starbucks didn't get moving yesterday, struggled to hear just a little bit, but I would keep a close eye on this. This is going to report on 8-1. Remember, be very, very cognizant of when things are going to report right now because um, we're getting a lot of um, speculative run into those earnings reports. So keep a close eye on that. Another area of the market, and I got to tell you, this has just been super surprising for me, is we're seeing tremendous strength in retail. Retail just ripping to the upside here. Kohl's taking off. Um, I mentioned this one just the other day. Um, looking really good. Any rest or pullback may set up an opportunity. Seeing stocks like Macy's trying to push this major resistance in the chart, see if it can pop through. It's holding into a bullish pattern. Um, um, we've got, whoops, got to type the right symbol, JWN. Uh, Nordstrom's pushing through resistance, stretching out, maybe a little rest or pullback could set up an opportunity there. We've got um, the Gap stores that gapped up yesterday, stretching through some resistance, going to report on 824, but looking really good. Any, um, any little rest or consolidation here may be um, an upside opportunity for that. And even Walmart stretching and rent running up toward its earnings event here on the 17th of next month, trying to really get uh, break out yesterday. And, and by the way, this would be all time highs here in Walmart, just stretching to the upside. Um, any consolidation rest or pullback could set up an opportunity there in Walmart. So lots of stocks running to the upside, way more than I can even possibly cover. Um, keep an eye on PayPal here. We're going to um, start getting some of these pay system reports. PayPal has run beautifully to the upside. You can see I've got it alerted in there. It's trying to pop this morning. Keep a close eye on that. We're going to hear from a MasterCard today, and that could have an effect on things like PayPal and SQ. SQ is another one setting up here for that potential resistance break in the chart. So watch those closely. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Thank you for your kindness and support. I do uh, truly, truly appreciate that you guys humble me. Uh, and that's not just something I say. I, it, seriously, it, it does humble me that there are so many folks out there um, so kind to support the channel and so kind on this situation that we're dealing with my, with my mother-in-law. So um, I want to wish you, um, well, just say thank you so much and wish you all the best today. Uh, take care, be safe, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great one.